Hi students, today you're going to be doing a lab on FET called the Masses and Spring Lab. This is with a simulator called Masses and Spring Basics. So there's three parts to this lab. On the first part, you're going to use this tab called Stretch. On this part, what you're going to do is you're going to hang different amounts of mass from each spring to see how far it stretches from its unstrength, unstretched length. So, in the directions, it tells you to change the spring strength, the first spring to small, and the second one to large, as large as you can get. Then you can check these boxes up in the top right, saying unstretched, unstretched length and resting position. So, the first one it asks you to do is to hang the 50 gram mass here on the small spring. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And you can see that when you hang the mass from the spring, the spring stretches a certain distance from where it used to be, the blue line, to its current resting position, the green line. What you do to measure the displacement is you click and drag the ruler that they have on FET over to here, and you measure the distance between the unstretched length and the resting position. So using this ruler, I'm going to say that's about 16 centimeters. And you repeat with the other spring and with the other amounts of mass. So that's what you do in the first part. You stretch each spring with the masses, and then you measure the displacement that you get. Then let's go to the second tab. The second tab is called Bounce. Now on here, once again, we're going to change the strength of the springs. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be measuring the period of oscillation under different conditions. So for instance, if I click and drag this 50 gram mass onto the spring, you can see that the spring bounces. And the period would measure the amount of time it takes for one complete oscillation cycle to occur. Now I'm going to hit this little stop sign here, which will stop the spring from moving. Now up on the top right, once again, you can have the resting position, which is what you will need. That shows where it would be if it were not oscillating at all. And when it does oscillate, it will oscillate above and below this green line. We can also click and drag to bring in a ruler and a stopwatch to our simulator. Finally, it asks you to lift up this uh, mass 10 centimeters before releasing it to start the oscillation. Well, up here, they have an option called movable line. You can click and, and drag to move this line up to different spots. Well, in this case, I want to mark the spot 10 centimeters above the resting position, so right about here. And now, I know that when I'm ready, I can lift up this mass to the spot 10 centimeters above the resting position and release it, and now the spring is going to oscillate with a certain period. Now, to measure the period, you have to get an entire up and down cycle. It's easiest to observe the motion near the middle, so you, um, what I like to do is I like to measure the period starting from when it goes up through the middle, and then when it's going up through the middle again. So you notice it's only every other time it passes through the middle. Um, this goes so quickly that down here you can control the speed from normal to slow. I find that very helpful. You can always down here also pause and then move it one step at a time. So I'm going to pause right now and move it one step at a time until I have this right in the middle and going up. Now I can press the play button on the stopwatch. It won't, it will keep track of the time that passes in the FET simulator, even though that's different than the time that actually passes, you know, in real life, right? So right now, because the simulator is not moving, uh, the time is not passing. Once I hit this play button, this mass will start oscillating and the timer will start keeping track of how much time has passed in this slow motion simulator. I'm going to move it one step at a time until the mass is right back where he started, in the middle and moving up. And this gives me a period of 0.82 seconds. So that means that it took 0.82 seconds for the mass to go up, down, and then back up to the middle. So this would be the period of oscillation. You're going to repeat measuring the period of oscillation with the other spring and with the different amounts of mass and with different amounts of amplitude using the tools we have here. 
As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And in any case, have a great day.